Hey YouTube, Doug Wallman. Today I'm here to do an unboxing of a couple items to do with uh, wart removal. Or it could be freckles or whatever. I don't think freckles are bad actually. But this product would be a plasma pin, except technically it probably really isn't. But that's what I'm going to call it just for the sake of, you know, a good title, I guess. Or that's kind of what it's referred to in some instances. But here they call it uh, Electri, Electri Laser Skin Tag Freckle Wart Dot Mole Remove Remover Pin Dark Spot Tattoo Removal. This is a description on eBay. Um, so you had uh, some warts and my niece had this product and so I used it. So I've already done it. But I did order it because I'm not sure if it's actually completely done because I had a limited amount of time to uh, burn off my warts, shall we say. I have like three major ones. And then there was a couple tiny dots elsewhere. But I digress. Let's get on to the unboxing, shall we? All right. So I'd indicated before, I believe, that I got two items. One's sort of like an essential oil for your warts. Ooh, mall freckle pin. German technology. Whoa. So, have your needles in here, or nozzles, or whatever these things are called. Actually, what are these? These are the things you put on. I'm not exactly sure what these are. They're the fine needles. I hear some directions. Quality certification. You have a way to charge it. Coarse needle, fine needle. There's different types of needles. And it looks like these tinier things go through there. I think. I'm not really sure what these do. Unless those are really tiny needles. They might be. How to insert the needles, there's instructions. So no worries there. It talks about spot removing, mole removing, sarcoma removing, granulation removing, tattoos. And it probably should talk about warts because it was kind of advertised like that. I don't necessarily see it right off the bat. I thought it was advertised like that, but I know people use it for that. Uh, disclaimer, I uh, wouldn't necessarily recommend this. Uh, just, you know, I'm sure I already seen on the internet there was discouragements against it. And it's not authorized in Canada, for example. Personally, I like the idea. I've already went to the dermatologist and the medical doctor. I think this is, this is, I think I went to the dermatologist once and maybe the medical doctor twice. And this is what it looks like now after having been about, not quite a week away. It hasn't had like a week to heal yet. Maybe see. like five days that's what it looks like all 
I had a super small one right there. And somewhere else I don't even see it anymore. Well, I'm not going to... This is here as a precaution in case I need to use it again. Which, to be honest, I probably will, but I'm not going to do any more right now. I'm going to let that heal. I may, however, elect to do this in the meantime. Healing natural oils. Amoils.com. I don't want my address showing. Okay. There's always some concern about that. H. Warts formula. It says homopathic. I don't know about this, but we will give it a try. In fact, probably right now. <laughs> What's it smell like? It smells like one of those essential oils, really. A little bit. Like something you'd use in a Kirby vacuum cleaner. Sort of. To make it smell good. Without even like reading the instructions, I'm just gonna quick put a dab on. Well, anyway, that's some supplemental, I guess, treatment I can try. I'm waiting for that to heal. Um, I know it'd be more scientific if I did one or the other, uh, but I don't want to do that. I just want these gone. My guess is I will have to actually end up using this uh, pen again. The mall remover pen. Um, it does say right here, Q.U. Wart's Child. All right, so I guess we could charge it or plug it in Let's see what happens here moment of truth and that's all that's happening is it's charging we'll let it do that but i'm not gonna put in the needles or nozzles or whatever those things are uh, right now uh, i'll just let you see my hands one more time But you know what, I do have some footage, but it's not real great footage. Um, I was at my niece's place and I somehow we got to talking about uh, my warts and she had some device for it and this was it. The thing is, I've already done it. One more reminder, the footage isn't too great. I don't think I set up my uh, gear properly for the following clip, but it'll work. It'll be fine. Uh, and I think somewhere in there I closed out the video, so we'll just close out with that. Um, all right, that'll be next.
Ready? Mm -hmm. So I gotta press this? Yeah, press the, the, no, this button. It's actually, it's not too much more. Ready? Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to burn off a wart. Is this the right way to do it? Yeah, you just, is it, is it zapping? Yeah, it's zapping. Oh, yeah. You can feel it. Yeah. And so that's what Not as much as I should, right? Well, it's kind of callous, maybe. Yeah. It really hurt. The doctor already used a exacto knife and it didn't hurt. I don't know what to do. I don't know. In the top of it. That's the smell, right? It smells exactly the same as those flies. Sorry, it smells kind of like that. <laughs> like flesh burning. All right. I don't have that kind of smell. Nothing. If you know what that smells like. How would you do I think it? I think we just Alex just touched the tip of it. Scraping works really well. Oh, is he scraping? Yeah, he's scraping. I gave him a thin I gave him a thin needle. Is what is is what helps. Is it too thin? Because this Well, there's two needles. They gave me a couple fat ones and then a whole bunch of these thin the ones. Thin ones seem like they work about and the apparently the they work about the same. The thin that ones. And what's this product called? Um, it's called a plasma pen. Okay. Yeah, take a video. Or a mole freckle pen. There's different brands. But there's different brands, but they're all the exact same product. Even the packaging is the same. I think I'd rather, I'd rather do this. Mm -hmm. My mole is rather, mole, my ward is rather formidable. It's presenting a little challenge, I think. It took, it took Alex like 20 minutes to burn off my mole. Oh really? Okay. It took a long time. I did take some breaks to calm down. And I was screaming the entire time. I'm like recording a lot of videos, so I'm taking up a lot of space on my hard drive. From all the Did you apply hydrogen peroxide to it or something mm -mm. afterwards? It just was all good. No, I tried to find different ways to numb it. I got some Aura Gel and some like Icy Hot with the lidocaine. Neither of the, like I think maybe it helped a little, but it still really hurt. You can turn up the. Oh. You can turn it up a little bit. I'm surprised. I can smell it a little bit. I think nine's the highest. You don't have to record the whole thing, but okay. come back to it. Hmm. Is it loose again? Mm -hmm. Maybe try pushing the button and then like touching it and then I don't know. Felt like what if one. you put the tip on it and just felt it in the center or something? Is the tip getting too dirty? It's kind of interesting to burn it like that. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it. So those are switched, which is why Oh, man. The whole house is going to smell like flesh. Ouch! Is that the first it hurt? No, it hurt a lot. I mean, it hurt as a I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how calloused you were on there. It kind of looked like a wart that got calloused. It is calloused. But if I get too deep, then of course I will feel it. Is it, is it a wart or a callus? Or both? It's a callus wart. <laughs> I, almost, I almost feel like an exacto knife would just cut it right off. Yeah, that would be more effective. That's what they used at one of the places. And it was muted. Yeah. I think a bigger needle would do any better. You want to try a big needle? You want to see what the difference is? Sure. I'll try this. It says one. Oh, turn it all the way up. Where's that? Over yeah, here? kind of stubborn. Slow push. And push it again. Oh, I turned it off. It's a cheap China thing. <laughs> Mm, 
nine is as high as it yeah. goes. Yeah. Okay. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Should we expect a little more results or not? It's almost like a soldering iron. I know. Alex and I were talking about that. I was Maybe joking at just... work about doing this. <laughs> but it's not actually like, no, it is that. an arc that zaps. You know oh, what I, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Plasma or something? Well, like that? and it sometimes advertises, the first game advertises itself as plasma, but... This one isn't apparently supposed to yeah, smell like ozone yeah, and then online, have like a white so. mark left on your skin. And this is just electrical. Yeah, so it's like if when it does spark, it's orange. I haven't played since I last played you though. Since you last played me? Oh. Yeah. It was funny though. I had big cherry agonomas behind uh, my ear. Mm -hmm. Really, really big ones. Yeah. Alex burnt them off, like, and then they scabbed, and then the scabs fell off, and now it's almost completely like it looks so good. It didn't scar or anything. Yeah, it took a long time. It took a long time to heal, or to no, to burn it off. Yeah. Because you, you know you burn the outside layer, and they have to kind yeah. of burn it down flat. But the healing's probably more effective than. If it was actually burnt, right? I don't know oh, what you mean. Difference. There was you. But once it healed, it was Sunshine, way. Power, I mean, it wasn't 100% gone. Food. Sometimes the blood like would cool up, two, and then it'd be hard for him two, to zap it anymore. Or like yeah. this, like the charred power. blackness built up, right. and you can yes, get I'm kind of underneath it. <laughs> but then after it heals, you can zap it again until it. Honestice. I have a couple other ones that he's yeah. done three times. I'm waiting for them to put the scabs to come off to see if they're done because they would cool up with blood and then you can't really zap it anymore once it's wet. Mm -hmm. It would fill up as soon as you'd wipe it off. You think I'm doing about the same kind of job that Alex did on... Yeah, I don't know. I think he, he did it a little different. Like he would like touch it, lift up, touch it, lift up. He was like wiping it, but it was like, I don't know. Yeah, like, you can't just, uh, get a smithing table. And this and thing is calloused. And, <laughs> and deep. And another, right, you have to get an upgrade from a You have other ones, right? Yeah. Almost, like, maybe you should have cut off what you could that didn't have any feeling with, a, with like, just an exacto knife and then burn it. Best yeah. world out there I'll try yeah. this one. I had the best enchantments on the best armor. I had right. XP farms. The... Yeah. Uh, I had villager farms too. And XP yeah. farms. And like cattle breeding and sheep farming operations going on. Like yeah, that's not nearly as callous. You can feel it more. I thought you were talking about Age of Empires for a while. And then I had like crates full of like diamonds. I'm not too far. Mm -hmm. I bought a little bit of. Uh, I'm getting a little farther here. Uh, I still got some callous. Callousness going on. So. I have to work a little more on that one. Thanks for recording that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so
So this one is pretty flat now, that one there. Still working on this one. Yeah, that one hurts. It's probably a good sign if it starts hurting that you've got kind yes. of the dead wart without feeling gone. I haven't even, haven't even tried that one yet, but that's probably the least one. <laughs> I think they are. All gone. Okay. So now we can keep him. Isn't that wonderful? So I decided to do that one too. That's nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>So after washing them, putting a little bit of uh, antibacterial ointment on, they look more like that. Not quite so black. That was the hardest one to get removed. And I probably didn't try quite as much on the other two. And a minor one down there. And on the other hand, there is barely anything. Yeah, that was the toughest one, but I did work, like I said, the most on that. And it looks like I may have to follow through with some other treatment on these, like a essential oil thing I've seen marketed on Facebook. Maybe that will work to help with the remainder of that. But I did pretty good, I think. All right, so we're back. I was just going to let the uh, the other clip end out the video, but I decided to come back and ask, what did you think of that? Uh, I think it's still healing, and it may need a little more care, burning, oil, whatever, but uh, uh, I'll try to do another follow-up video. So what, what I was going to say for coming back to one more segment here. I'll do another follow-up, and that's if it goes my way. Or if I have any complications, which I don't believe I will. <laughs> only, only trouble would be if it's a little bit left over. It does feel like it's rather callous right now. And I don't know if that's still... I think it's still healing. Uh, we'll continue using this uh, H-Warts. Yay. <laughs> I've seen that advertised on Facebook. And I bit the bait. It's like, we're going to try that. It's like, I don't know, 34 bucks or something like that. I don't know if it really works. Uh, it might. And once again, I'll leave uh, some links in the description box. Thanks for watching. Do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you.